Hey guys, it's me, My Reborn, and I am back with another video. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, and it's currently 1.01 p.m. And I do have a baby here. I have Symphony, aka Serenity by Lily Eagles, and this is going to be her box packing video today. And I am so excited. And let's go ahead and get her packed up. So it actually started snowing last night. You guys know I am not a stranger to snow. It snows all the time. However, those of you who have been keeping up with my channel know that I had moved about two years ago. Well, yeah, over two years ago. And so I haven't seen snow and I haven't experienced snow in two years. Two years. And then it started snowing yesterday, last night. I woke up and there was a whole bunch of snow on the ground and then I just went to get the tissue paper and the tripod and I saw that there that it was snowing again so that's always fun but anyways you guys know I like to do box packing videos for my babies just so that people can get a general idea of how I pack my babies up and how I do the boxes you know each box is different but relatively the same on how i pack them up and how i do them so i just like to record it and post it just so if anyone wants to know how i pack my babies up or wants to see a visual representation on how i pack the babies up they can do so and i have a whole playlist that's called reborn baby box packing so if you guys are interested you can go ahead and check that out anyways i have all of the things you'll be going home with and I just realized that I forgot the um, protection cushion bubble wrap thingy. So I'm going to go get that right now. And the funny thing is, so Serenity, she had got spoken for like the first week of November. So like almost two weeks ago. And I just put her in this sleeper yesterday to go home in. Because I had a feeling that she was going to be going home like really, really soon. She's going to go home today, but yesterday, later that same day, she officially is going to be going. And so I'm going to ship her out today. Okay, I should have everything now. And I wish I could show you guys the snow because it actually looks so pretty outside. It looks like literally like a winter wonderland. And it just looks so cute. So I'm going to show you guys what she's going to go home with. This is going to go over her head. And then I just have the outfit she came to me with. I didn't have any newborn size clothing except for one so i need to work on getting some more stuff to send the baby home with i just didn't plan on letting her go or letting her go so soon i should say so let me show you guys i don't like when the onesies aren't like buttoned up so i'm just buttoning up this onesie no babies ever wore but it's super cute it says the snuggle is real and it's gray and then this Carter's newborn size dress and it has flowers on it and the little diaper cover. Can put like a jacket over and some leggings under it. Or even a long sleeve onesie under it to make it more so for the winter time. And then we have this gray onesie that's trimmed in pink with the jacket, the pants, and then we have the pink headband and the white headband scratch mittens this super cute crab outfit or is this a lobster <laughs> i think it's a lobster it's a lobster outfit it's gonna be perfect for next year when it's, it starts to get warm outside and then this onesie and then this cute little romper as well as this onesie oh my gosh <laughs> with the matching scratch mittens and then that is going to be it for her box packing so i'm going to move her a little bit out of the way and start wrapping her clothes up i may speed this up i may not or some parts may be sped up and some may not be sped up so i'm just trying to figure out what i should put in which package oh also she's gonna be going home with this moon pacifier Oh, and she does have a magnet, a magnet for a magnetic pacifier. And I was actually saying in the video yesterday when I was um, packing her up that I was going to be sending 
a magnet if I didn't forget. And that just reminded me that I need to go get one. So anyways, we're going to be doing the yellow tissue paper for this one. It's a little wrinkled because of the way I stored it. And I need to make sure I don't forget to get a magnet. <laughs> so we're going to put these three, the romper and the two onesies. And you all know, or if you don't know, I don't put any, I don't put any tape on the packages just in case someone likes to keep them or reuse them. Just because I know when I first started out, I used to keep them and hope that they didn't have tape on them so I could reuse them. And so I just feel like that is a little bit better. So now I am going to do, you guys can't see. Okay, so I have quite a few outfits in here. Pretty much have the remainder of her outfits. And I may have to take one out. So I'm going to take out the dress. And then I'm going to put the jacket, the two onesies, the pants. And then the matching scratch mittens in this one. And we're going to do this pink paper. Okay, pink paper for that one. I'll do a little more stuffed and full. And then we're going to do the dress. And then this super cute outfit. I put this on one of my babies. And it's just so cute and darling. I just had to send it right back. <laughs> we're going to do the blue tissue paper for this one. Okay, so we have the blue one, the yellow one, and the pink one. And we just have the accessories left to wrap up. But I am going to pause you guys for a second because I'm going to grab um, two magnets. And then I am also going to write a note. I don't have all of my supplies here. I had got some ribbon and then some thank you cards, but I don't have it here. So I'm going to handwrite the notes. And then I'm going to grab the two magnets and then finish up this box opening or this box packing, I should say. All right, I am back. I got the note. I got the magnets. I got some bubble wrap. We are about to finish off this box packing. And I found a smaller piece of tissue paper, which is good. And it's just a darker hot pink color um, to put the rest of the accessories in. Just because I didn't want to use the big piece and it's only four things in here. So we're going to put the headbands in here. The other pair of scratch mittens and the pacifier. Again, she does have a magnet. So I have, I should have a video on how to magnetize a pacifier on my channel. If not, there's tons of people who has videos on that. But let me show you. does have a magnet but I just love her expression so I never magnetized any pacifiers also I am very lazy so that's also another reason but okay let's just go ahead and put the magnets in here I'm gonna put the magnets inside of her scratch mittens so just drop that in there that way they don't get lost or slide in the package I slide out I should say <laughs> Okay, so those are all of her packages. Let me just move them out of the way. They're so noisy. Okay, now I'm gonna slide her box over here. And I'm gonna put this diaper over her head. But before I do that, I am going to lay down these bubble protection cushion type things. Some of them are already deflating, but they should still keep her nice and protected. I'm gonna just move the box out of the way really quick. 
and we're going to put this diaper on over her head and I'm debating if I should keep the hat on I'll put the hat over it let me see I did her hair yesterday and it still looks intact okay And then I'm gonna put her hat over the diaper. <laughs> so there's like this thing that I do is I take the baby and I give them a big hug right before they leave. Okay, gotta get some snuggles in <laughs> before she goes and heads home. She's actually not going to be traveling far, so that's the good thing. But I still want to make sure she's nice and warm and protected on her travels home and her journey. So This is a nice thick blanket, so she should stay nice and warm during her travels, as well as all of the snow. I wish I had my ribbon so I can tie it around such a nice blanket okay actually I was supposed to wrap her in this bubble wrap before but the, the blanket is nice and thick so what I'm going to do is lay this on top just in case the box get gets wet I don't want it to run the tissue paper so I'm just gonna lay that um, piece of I'm gonna lay that piece of um, bubble wrap on top okay so this one get is thicker than what i remembered <laughs> let's see i'm gonna have to take this out and i'm gonna put two packages at the bottom of this instead i just don't want them to get ruined okay so i'm gonna have to rearrange it a little bit that's what i'm doing now She fits in there fine. It's just all of her presents and goodies that I'm having trouble with. Okay, I think that might be better. I'm going to get her note. Oh, also, I have these two fabric um, sheets. They just go in the dryer, but these are like just the gain ones, just so they can smell nice and fresh. I'm just gonna slide that right here. So I'm gonna put that in here. Um, when I got Milano, who is my sonny, he had these in his box, and his clothes smelled so good. He smelled so good for literally weeks. Like, he just smelled so good. So, I decided to do that as well. I decided to put two in there because they are kind of strong, and I don't know if anyone's like will be have like a sensitive nose to the smell and things like that. So, that's why I'm going to do two. Don't want to do it overboard, like I said. It is strong and she will be sitting in this box for a couple of days, five at most, two at the least. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this bubble wrap over. This should work. I'm going to make it work. And that is pretty much it for her box packing, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, usually when you wrap it up in a tissue paper and things like that, it can get a little bulky, but I'm gonna make it work and I'm going to tape the box off camera as well as write the names and addresses off camera and then take this baby to the post office later today and that is it so thank you so much to the person who adopted sweet baby serenity and i hope she brings you love and happiness and i hope you love her and happy holidays to everybody because the holidays are coming up very soon very fast and i hope everyone is staying safe as well as staying warm if you live somewhere that's cold and snowy like i do so again that is it for this video i do still have 
three babies available for sale right now so if anyone is interested in adopting a baby before the holidays let me know and i can definitely help you out i do want to have them go to a good home before the holidays so my idea was like first week of december just so that they don't get stuck in holiday transits as well um and so they can just make sure they arrive in enough time before the holidays anyways go ahead and follow me on instagram my underscore reborn you can contact me about a baby over there as well as my email which is always in the description below but it's my reborns yt at gmail.com if you guys like this video get a big thumbs up comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests oops and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video all right i will talk to you guys later bye